Hey guys, this is Perry Guy 88 and welcome to Let's Play Earthbound. This is episode 40. This game brought to you by GameIndieWorld.com. Last episode, we tried to go the fourth side by bus, but we could because of stupid traffic jam. So now we're gonna have to walk uh, through the desert in order to get there. So let's talk to this monkey for no reason. Okay. Our paradise exists benefit below that old. Tell her wrong. He's great and kind. And he knows everything. Tell her wrong. He made us the underground games. Okay, I don't know if that's important. Hey, that little monkey reminds me of the bubble monkey. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't care. Yeah, let's just keep going. Oh, whoa, 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 a couple of new enemies here, they are very dangerous, uh-oh. Okay, we have the Smiling Orb, uh, Silent Sphere, sorry. He has a 1 in 128 chance of dropping a Meteranium, and just like the Terran Territorial Oak in, what, I forgot, uh, he also explodes when you kill him, so make sure you just feed him last, and his, the other guy is the Crusted Boot, who has a 4 in 128 chance of dropping a Picnic Lunch. He doesn't have any good stats and doesn't hurt hard, hit you hard, but he'll lower your he'll lower your stats with his attack. So let's go ahead and defeat these guys real quick. Damn, good job there, Paula. Had to feed him quite quickly. Okay, and now it's really useless. Anyway, let's do this. Yeah. Just be careful that he really explodes. Oh no, he's blowing up. No. Oh! Come on, get in the battle quickly! Oh, that was close. Okay, yeah, we still have some time left, but still. Man, that was devastating. We just gotta be more careful next time. Okay, hey, Ness, why don't you go heal uh, Paula and Jeff with Life Up Beta? I have a feeling that that's not really needed. <laughs> okay, you could have just did Alpha and it would have been enough, but that's okay. Ness likes to. Make sure that, you, that all of his comrades are completely alive. I agree too. Okay, let's face this enemy. Whoa, oh god, we got a back attack even though we didn't get behind him. So, I, I'm satisfied with that. Yeah! So we're gonna go up against the bad buffalo. He has a full 128 chance of dropping a wet towel. And uh, this guy's very, very dangerous. Not only does he have high defense, but he, he's also so strong that he can knock out Ness in one hit. So, yeah, we, we definitely need to defeat him real quick and definitely use paralysis so he doesn't attack back because it will hurt a lot oh by the way the wet towel uh, kills sunstroke so if you don't feel like using psychic power to kill sunstroke you can use a wet towel but anyway yeah let's defeat him yes we did it the bad buffalo is gone even i'm not sure if buffaloes are supposed to be in the desert with uh, what would all that fur and all I think Buffalo- uh, yeah, it's for right? Yeah, wouldn't he collapse under the great heat? Who cares? Because this is earthbound and I'm trying to put logic into this. I don't know why I'm doing that. What the heck is- I heard that the black sentry teeth is love somewhere in the desert. If you see him, please, say tell him I love him. That was in it, like Sesame Steed and he was talking and- Wow, this is definitely earthbound where things really do not make sense where inanimate objects start talking to you. But we'll keep that in mind. We'll tell the black uh, sesame seed when we get over there. Maybe not. Kind of. Oh, well, we got that big bottle of rocket for Jeff. Uh, let's see if we can give it to him. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, we can't. His is full up. Oh, uh, we'll manage items uh, later between episodes, but not right now. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost there. Well, what the? What's this? Dusty Dude's Headquarters. Finding buried gold. Hey. Hey, guy. That's almost great. Good home, good home, good home. First, someone asked me to dig very gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to fight. Man, I'm starving. Do you have any food you could spare? Sure, okay. Seems like you have a lot of stuff. What are you gonna give me? Why are we giving this guy our food? Yeah, I have to agree. Do, do we really need to do this? I have a feeling that we sh should do this. So we will. What b besides, we got so many items here, we can just get rid of some. Uh, okay, what do you got, Paul? There you go. Let's, you can have this. Thank you. 
Uh, if I find the code, I'll give it to you. All right, yeah. yeah. And of course, that's the uh, dad's calling ne uh, Ness again. Of course, uh, we're going to ignore him. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's let's move on now. Let's go in here. It's a small house, but please stay for the night. All right. Okay. Oh man, that was uncomfortable. Well, at least it's better than paying two ten in the in that drugstore. But at least there's a bed, though there's only one, and we have to take turns sleeping in it. But at least someone slept on the couch. I don't remember who. Man, when are we gonna get to some normal beds around here? Man, I, I, I swear, I think my back is hurting a lot. But who cares, right? It doesn't matter about my conditions, about the adventure. So let's move on, girl. Yeah, okay, there's nothing in here, but I have a feeling there's gonna be a very annoying maze gonna be built around here. That's just my hunch. That's just my hunch. But we'll we'll take a look at that a little later. Let's just keep going. Whoa, whoa, is that a runaway dog? What's he doing in the desert? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, what? What? That's not the runaway dog. It's the desert wolf. My bad. My mistake. It's a common mistake to make. Anyway, that's the desert wolf. He has a... Two of 128 chance of dropping a sudden gut spill, and he can his bites can actually poison you. So he's one of the enemies in the desert that can poison you, so you should really use psychic powers like Paulus uh, Freeze Vader. So let's do that. Okay, at least he's not the poison bite. Oh god, there you go. Yeah. Looks like you're not gonna get have a meal with us today. Haha, <laughs> yeah. You might as well go look somewhere else. Okay, let's avoid the bad buffalo. All right, yes, we finally made it out of the desert. Good goodness. Okay, now a few notes this, uh, about the desert here. There's a lot more to this desert than what we saw here. There's like lots of different. Uh, oh, let's see their sunstroke, of course. But there's lots of uh, presents around that has cool food stuff that you get if you want to go there. But we'll, we'll, I don't know if we're gonna do that right now. Anyway, there's also an enemy that I'm not sure we're gonna encounter. It's called the Criminal Caterpillar. It's a small green caterpillar that you'll see in the desert. It'll run away from you. You can easily get a back attack from it, and I would recommend that you do so because it's strong get uh, fire attacks. But when you do beat him, he, he'll give you a whole lot of experience, like exactly 30,384 experience points. Oh, and so yeah, it's definitely worth chasing that thing around the desert. Let's see, anything else to note? Nah, no, no, not really. Okay, good. Let's... Oh yeah, there is one other thing that we're gonna show off here that I, uh, figure out. Don't ask me how. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, this is a little weird here. Let's talk to these guys. I'm Big Brother Pancho. I'm Big Brother Pincho. I'm Thomas Jefferson. Okay, some well, one of these names don't match. I think it's Peacher. Yeah, yeah, that 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 doesn't match. Oh well, let's talk to this thing or check it out. I'm a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers are their friends are very cheerful dream. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? Uh, okay, sure, why not? Whoa, whoa, with the thing is spinning around. Oh, it's a slot machine game, and we lost completely. Dang it, man. You know, this reminds me of that one slot game from my from one of my other adventures. But I'm not going to get assessed this time, people. We're not going to dedicate a whole episode to this. We got a lot of work to get done. Oh, yeah, and there's a present here that has a thousand dollars. Yeah! So if you guys want to gamble all day long, you can do that with this money. Yeah! I'm sure you can get some good stuff like uh, Chick, Skip Sandwich, PSI Caramels, the U, and other things. But... Never mind, we're not gonna worry about that now. Let's go over to Foresight now. Yeah! We could also have taken the bus since the traffic jam is clear, but we're not going to. We're just gonna walk there because it's more dramatic that way. Yeah! Come on, let's keep going, guys. We're gonna get over to the best city in the in, the, in all of Earthbound. Wow, this bridge looks very familiar. Ooh, this reminds me of something. I'm sure people from San Francisco probably knows what this is, but, you know, it's so obvious I'm not even going to mention it. <laughs> okay, who cares, right? Let's go to... Foresight, yeah! This is going to be great. Awesome! I, 
heard this place was gonna was like the biggest city ever. Let's get this magic butterfly because it makes us feel better. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Yes, people were here. Foresight. Yeah. We made it. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Paula, Jeff, Des, what do you guys think? Wow, this city really is huge. Yes, I have to agree. It'll take a long time for us to explore everything and to find the many, many stuff. Yeah, we, we, we should do that, but we're going to explore the city, but not right now, <laughs> because uh, we don't have enough time. But don't worry, we will explore it next episode. So, that's the, end of episode, that's the end of episode 40. Stay tuned for episode 41, when we explore Foresight and see all the cool stuff that we can do here. Yeah! Alright, this is Perry Guy, 88, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> so long, guys. Yes, farewell, everyone. Alright, Ness, say goodbye. Ha, Ness says bye. Yeah! See you guys.